I hope you're doing great and I can't wait to keep catch up with you. Um, but let me tell you what I'm on a mission to do right now. I, I've got buyers, they need houses and uh, we just don't have enough in MLS right now. Can you please help me out? I'm seriously looking for three sellers, at least three sellers um, that need to sell their house in the next 60 days. Who can you think of? Call me back. Let's get together, et cetera, right? Like you're being genuine. Um, so hoping all that helps. Now let's go on to the, the next thing. So um, number eight, okay? This is how Richard Eaton gets his business. And y'all, he is covered up with listings and um, he calls expired listings. And most of you or most of us are gonna hate that. And they're gonna, we're gonna say not to do that. But what if you could do it a little different um, you know, they're going to get a lot of phone calls. Um, what if you showed up at their house? Now, I, I would probably be fearful of that. My heart would be beating like crazy. But, you know, Vicki, she's going to do it. She's going to show up and they're going to love her because she's adorable. <laughs> so um, or um, what if you uh, um, ended up giving them a special delivery like those listing kits, right? Like um, I have the most awesome listing kits ever. Um, you could brand something just for expired listings and have it um, professionally delivered by a marketing company or add in with a delivery company of, of dinner. Um, you could do all kinds of different stuff um, to stand out and be different. Um, I did that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did that too, not too long ago. And the seller called the listing agent and he called and chewed me out. <laughs> the listing agent that uh, let his property expire. <laughs> so, you know, you got to think through some of that. <laughs> you let it expire. Um, all right. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for being here. I know you got to go on board some people. So I um, uh, love that. Okay. Anytime we do something that makes someone else look bad, we're going to get chewed out. We're going to get, you know, so you've got to make that decision. Um, even if you made a phone call, a lot of times a seller is not going to know that their house expired um, because they're not going to be checking dates. And I know we get busy and, but y'all, we, we have those notifications. Hey, You've got seven days, six days, five days, four days. So um, what is in the listing kit? Okay, great um, uh, question, Jane. I'm sure you've seen this one in Six Figure Intensity because you've taken it with me a couple of times. So our listing um, kit is like um, tips on how to freshen it up. It's got um, uh, post-it notes that are branded. It's got pens that are branded, different things like chip clips and things that they can put around their house. It's got... Um, the uh, top 10 things that buyers are willing to pay more for and features of a house. It's got like how to prep your house for showings. Um, it's got a lot of great info in there. Um, plus like my spectrum of solutions and um, a brochure. So uh, you can add even particular things about, hey, I think I've even got in there the four reasons that homes don't sell. Um, so that, you know, they'll be relating that to their situation. Um, so, uh, you can create your own thing that works really well. You can put even higher in gifts like Mary Martin puts one of these in hers. And so if you can see, I don't know. Oh yeah. It's floating because I've got the green screen on, but, um, it's a candle <laughs> with her branding on it. She puts that in there. Uh, but it really stands out and goes, wow, it's a wow thing. Um, but again, somebody could still call and cuss you like Lisa. <laughs> But Lisa, I'm so proud of you that you went out and did that. So, um, all right, now let's go on to um, uh, one way that you can call expires, by the way. Again, I want to give you some real meat and potatoes here. You can use Land Voice or you can use um, Red X. Um, these are excellent tools that will look up the expired listings for you and give you the phone number of the people. The phone numbers are not always right. Um, when I first jumped back in sales four years ago, I got land voice and I started going through. So I learned that sometimes it's the uh, mother of the seller who lives in a different state 
but they answer the phone and you'll have a good conversation about why her son needs to sell the house. <laughs> um, and y'all, I actually listed something the very first week on one of the very first phone calls that I made from using Land Voice. And three transactions later, um, he is just one of my uh, dearest clients. I love him. Um, and he had a house that just didn't sell the first time because he took a for sale by owner route and he paid a flat fee to a company. And and, you know, he was amazed that I went in and actually worked. <laughs> um, and uh, we actually are, are good friends today. Um, in fact, y'all saw a text. And if you're in the X team, <laughs> saw a text from him yesterday. So saying how much he loved the uh, the free souls um, gift. So, all right. Um, set appointments to meet estate attorneys and divorce attorneys. Okay, so um, Tanya Lee um, uh, picked this up in Six Figure Intensity. She was listening, right? So she said for eight months, she went after attorneys, just like hearing nothing, hearing nothing, hearing nothing. And then she finally got a phone call that gave her nine listings at one time. Um, this is why I want y'all to make appointments and you have to do it in the right way, right? You show up at their house, they're probably not, I mean, show up at their office, they're probably not going to listen to you. They're probably not going to book an appointment with you. But who do you know that can get an introduction to that attorney, right? Who is in your network already? Do you know the mayor of the town? Do you know a city councilman of the town? Do you know um, somebody through the court system? Who can give you an introduction that can endorse you so that they're more apt to listen to you? This is how you get multiple listings from one source. So, um, so if you can find a number, you can try HomeSnap to see if the contact info is on there. Yes, that's an excellent tip about using HomeSnap and some of the things that we already have. And for those of you who are just joining MLS um, because you're brand new, HomeSnap is a system that um, correlates um, uh, with our MLS. And we also have a system, and, and that's just in Birmingham. I know that there are some of you that are in different markets. Um, uh, it, you can also um, use a system called Remind. Um, you could use Spokio, you could use Forewarn, you could use um, a lot of different things um, out there to get numbers if you don't want to pay for like a Land Voice or a Red X. Um, and they also provide for sale by owners, those systems as well. If you want to do that, y'all, I will not do that. I used to do that when I was a younger agent. I'm not doing that today. And I'll be completely transparent on what I'm willing to do and what I'm not. <laughs> I want people to call me because they know that I have some expertise. I do not want to call somebody who already hates real estate agents and feels like they could do a better job than we do and try to convince them that they're wrong. I got <laughs> my time is too limited to do that. There are people that are fantastic at that and I praise them for their skill set, but that is not one of mine. Um, all right, let's go on over to. Um, Okay, let's go on to number 10. Um, host a fun client event and get front of masses of people. Um, call your vendor partners to help you cover the cost um, and do an event where people can actually invite a friend. So um, yesterday I was in back-to-back -back appointments and I had a sweet um, kid who's thinking about um, joining um, uh, our company come over and he sat on the pier with me for a while. He goes to Jacksonville State um, in Jacksonville, Alabama, and he's about to graduate. He takes his real estate test in two weeks. And, um, you know, he said the first thing that he's going to do, and he's super young, he's 20 years old, um, uh, his parents are throwing him a James Bond party at the country club whenever he um, uh, passes his test. And I thought, that is fantastic. That is like a launch to your business because you could get so many people showing up to something like that, that where he is the center of attention for his real estate business. And then it will also cause people to bring a friend um, so that he can share, right? That he can now help people sell property. He can now help people buy property. So it, I love how young minds work because he's all down for it. Like he's, he's, yeah, he's stressing about the test, but he's like, okay, it's all about the party, about to get it on, right? And uh, so you could do that too. If you do something fun, then um, people would want to bring a friend. You're going to get face-to-face -face with a large group of people at one time. That's genius. Your phone is going to ring with referrals. Um, it can't not. 
if you do it the right way. Just make sure that you do capture everyone's um, information, their name and numbers, and uh, you'll be able to follow up with them as well. The Greater Alabama MLS um, may be going to provide full warning. Yeah, I saw that. So that's awesome, Vicki. Um, all right, number 11, post a listing on Facebook Marketplace to, to get um, leads going. I know, Cindy, have you had leads coming in on yours? I've had a couple come in, but nothing that they wanted to see it. Okay. And um, again, like how Zach said the other day when he was talking about uh, the conversations that he's had, nobody's wanted to see anything, but he's at least having conversations. Um, so it's a great way to at least be in front of people that are looking. So um, 12, run a Facebook ad um, in conjunction with Google. So a lot of our systems will do that for us. We just have to like pay. I know ours is like $60 and then it boosts it out for um, uh, with in conjunction with Facebook and Google for a minimum of seven days. Um, uh, and, and you can spend a lot of money doing stuff like that just to get a few things. But if you have a property that, again, is just below a little bit below priced of what the average is in the market, then you can blow up a lot of stuff. Nobody answers their dang phone anymore. So you're going to have to design a follow up system that will work for you. And I suggest video text. They still won't respond. But um, uh, it, at least it's something out there that um, uh, maybe, you know, you could be hopeful. All ads are a numbers game. Amen. Absolutely. Lots of responses, only a few worth spending. That's right. Um, do you receive scam messages? Absolutely. You absolutely receive scam messages. So, um, all right. Got more people coming in. Hello, everybody. Um, we are moving right on into um, number 13. Um, and that is to uh, get my six figure day app and follow it every single day, or just go to my six, the number six figure day.com and download it for free and follow that. That is actually going to get you um, business if you do that every single day. Um, the stuff I'm giving you here is in conjunction to what is on my six figure day. So, I mean, you're getting like way more because I've got like 30 tips on there to get the ball rolling. And plus the 17 that I'm giving you, um, it's a uh, get into action and the fear will dissipate. All right. So the next thing is um, get client reviews and testimonials. So Jasmine took um, a listing the other day because of this. And I always forget to do this. I always get so busy. But even if you are a brand new agent, you can actually get um, reviews on your Facebook page because it could be from friends and family. And they could be they could say like how much they love you and your character and all that good stuff. You can't get Zillow reviews or anything like that because it has to be from actual people they verify the business with. But if you do have some past sales that you haven't gotten Zillow reviews from or you haven't gotten Google reviews, Google reviews now are starting to be even more um, important than um, Zillow reviews. Um, I always like to do a fun contest like, hey, here's, you know, some Christmas cash. Like um, if you go put a review on, I'll put you um, uh, in uh, for a drawing for $200 or, um, you know, a meal. You don't have to do that. You can just simply ask like, hey, I hope hope that um, you appreciated uh, the, the time that we spent together. Um, would you mind, here's the link to my Google page. Would you mind putting up a testimonial or review? So sometimes people like to do videos for you, uh, video uh, testimonials, and I love those. I've got some fun ones on those. That guy was just telling you that I called the expired. He did one. Um, and uh, it helps too that he's cute and extremely credible because all the single ladies loved him. <laughs> Oh, uh, that definitely helps. So if you get those, then that will and, and post those people will be like, oh, yeah, I need to connect, you know, um, with her with him. So now let's go on to um, you could try lead service. Number 15 is try lead service um, uh, through Katie core. We've got some leads um, uh, services with that, like making it rain or you could do realtor.com or you could do op city or you could do some of those. Me personally, I don't like any of those because that's not the type of lead I want to work with. I want to work with people who actually call me and go, hey, I've been following you on social media. I want to do business with you. Um, 
because you don't have to make people feel uncomfortable and try to sell them. And they already feel like they know you. And um, that's the kind of business that I want every one of you to um, strive for. Um, But try lead service. I'm telling you, Stephanie Brumelow is awesome at this. And, uh, you know, even Op City, she closed over a $300,000 transaction. Lynn Berry is fantastic at this. Um, Some of the other ones that you can try, um, I think Lisa uses um, Ojo and you've got Walopo and you've got um, uh, Boomtown. If you want to do that, you've got um, so many choices out there that um, as lead services and y'all, there are lots of people that'll sell you a lot of stuff but you will have leads coming in. Know that one out of 39 of those leads are gonna convert. And just know that up front. That means if you choose to go that route, you've got to hammer it. It will pay off, but um, uh, one out of 39 is normally uh, the conversion rate for something like that. All right, number 16, we are almost there. And look at us, we're only at uh, 42 minutes past the hour. Um, And this is being recorded, um, so uh, I can send you a recording of this if you need it. Um, All right, so number 16, call your painters, your lenders, your landscapers, your power washing friends, because they know who's about to put their house on the market. They've already been there. (laughs) They have already been helping prep. They um, are in the know about certain things going on in the neighborhood. And the best thing about these groups of people is that neighbors will end up seeing them work and they'll hire them on their house. So they will usually know ahead of time who is about to put their house on the market in several neighborhoods. So make sure you stay in touch with them um, uh, and be the person that they think of. And the best way, um, to stay in touch with them and be the person that they think of is to always send a text message every time, uh, you send them a referral and say, Hey, uh, I gave your name and number out to XYZ today. Um, uh, let me know if they call you because the more often that they see that, right. They're going to be like, Oh my God, You know, Vicki is such a total foot soldier. Like I have to give my business to her whenever I hear this. So we're training people to be foot soldiers in our business. Um, uh, But we have to be foot soldiers in theirs to begin with. That that's the, the best on the job training. Right. All right. So number 17, drum roll, please. Um, buy a list of vacant homes and start calling and sending letters um, because uh, there's a good chance that those people are going to want to sell. So um, you could do um, second homes or you could do non owner occupied homes. That's not going to be business today, but if you actually buy the list today, you can download it right now on like list.com and uh, you can start working your way through. They're not going to give you phone numbers. You've got to find the phone numbers, but they'll give you the names and the addresses of where they actually do live. And what you could do is start trying to, if you've got time on your hands to get the ball rolling, um, this is a very, uh, uh, great way for you to cut through the crap and try to find somebody that really does want to sell their house instead of just like circle prospecting where you don't even know (laughs) you're just calling to call um where do you buy the list so um list.com is normally uh who i buy from and now they're not always going to be right because sometimes it'll be like a pre-sale on a new construction house and it's vacant or the it'll be in the builder's name. So you kind of have to sift through and use, you know, really look at it, but it is still a, a great list. So um, years ago when I was coaching um, Misty Joseph and her business um, and y'all, she works like Homewood, Mountain Brook, um, Vestavia. She is like the condo specialist and the move down queen. Like she is just really good at this because she sold condos. So I got her list, bought her list of um, people who've been in their house for 10 years um, were a certain age group and, uh, had equity in certain areas. And she just would call and she made so many sales just from that list alone. And once you have those people in your world, you can build a referral, um, uh, business out of those people once they're you know, once you know them um, and it will just take off. So that was like a really good investment uh, for her business. And um, 
you know, we had some good time with that. What was the name of the list again, please? And you could just do, you can set it up on any kind of list that you want, but list.com is where I get that. And Anna is giving us a good point saying that um, uh, we could get some of those lists on RPR as well. So um, fun stuff. Um, all right, so let me hear it. I gave you 17 ways to get this ball rolling ASAP. What questions do you have? You can put it in the chat or you can unmute and happy to answer anything at all. You know, I'll add real quick, um, Remind actually will generate those lists also of, you know, vacant or uh, absentee. Um, and you can actually, Remind works, I think a little better than some of the others because you can print that list out. Awesome, thank you, Brian. Print. Always giving us good resources. All right, any other questions? Um, and again, I'm doing the Beyond the Basics next Wednesday and Thursday from 10 to three, and you're very welcome to come in person or live stream. Um, it's in the chat. The, uh, if you'll scroll up, Sarah posted the link to, for you to register. Um, and there it is. Uh, so if you would like to come to that, please do. Um, we're going to get deep. I mean, we're even going over the difference. I had a very experienced agent say, ask me on my personal home one day, um, uh, do you, is your, um, drive it bonded? And I'm like, Hey, um, my house is brick <laughs> with a mortar wash. It's not drive it. So I can't tell you how many embarrassing things I've done in my own career, just not knowing the difference. So I'm going to save you from a lot of that embarrassment. We're going to avoid a lot of that stuff because I'm going to teach you what Masonite is. It is a paper siding and um, it's an okay product. But when people start researching it and you haven't told them ahead of time, like, hey, this is what you need to be concerned about. They're going to go, oh, you tried to sell us a paper house. <laughs> <laughs> so you, we're going to go over all of those kind of things. We're going to go over like how to write a uh, repair an addendum correctly. We've got a home inspector coming over and going over detail after detail, like what to look for, why, how to help your seller avoid stuff like that when they get ready to, um, do their home inspection. So um, it's really good information. And again, it is basics. It's not about selling a house. Who is here? <laughs> Somebody is ringing my doorbell. Um, uh, let's see. What other questions do we have? Um, all right. You missed 12. Okay. 12 is run a Facebook and or Google ad in conjunction. And um, uh, somebody's ringing the doorbell. Um, let's see. Joel, 15 was KD Core or lead source. That's right. And... Jenny, on the investment property, can you go over that again? I'm super slow. Um, like how to analyze it. Um, what you'll want to do is if you pick out a house that's pretty inexpensive and what you want to think here, Amy, is like, who can pay cash for this? Like, is there a $70,000 house that somebody could pay cash for? Um, is it 115, something like that? Um, then what you'll do is go to Zillow and say, hey, what is the Zestimate for rental on this? Okay. And then you'll get that one number. That's not a number you totally trust, but that is a number. That is a gauge. And then you'll go and Google houses for rent in this certain city. And they'll give you a range of everything that's on the market right now. Um, it'll pop it up and then you'll start seeing, okay, this makes sense. So I know that you could get this much per right per rent. So now let me go over here and say if I if they've got to purchase this and get a loan on it, right? Then it they're probably going to do like um 70% LTV or 70% of contract price or 80% of contract price. I would do the lesser and then figure out what that monthly payment's going to be for them. And on investments right now, you've got to pay a couple of points on those. So you have to keep that in mind, call your lender and give them the number and let them work the payment. And then you, when you have that, right, take the difference between the payment and the rent, and you'll see what your positive monthly cash flow is going to be. Just to get those conversations going. All right, please send me the link for the full recording. I'm sorry I missed half of it. I think you're forgiven, my love. Um, 
And yes, I will send that to you. So any other questions, y'all? I mean, I hope that you found this super valuable because um, what I want for you is to be focused on activities, focused on getting that phone to ring, focused on those conversations and appointments. Forget about what you're hearing in the market. Forget about what other people are saying. Um, <laughs> they don't know you. They don't know what you're capable of. And um, people are out there needing what you bring to the table. So um, make sure you go out there and give it to them, all right? Love you all. And uh, hope to see you next week at um, Beyond Basics. Have a six-figure day.